We chill and talk. Uh, yes. Music plugin. Again, I'm just reading through stuff. I should really actually move... Since you guys can't see my monitor, I should move this over to my main monitor. Yeah, that's exactly what I was talking about, Mama Jelly. Also, it returns. Yeah, I got a way to show the music. Give me a second here. Oh, hi. I disappeared. I'll be back with you in a second. That doesn't work. I'll figure it out. I'll get something working here. Dogs are weird. Me? Oh, no. Cancel. Remove. I really just want to show like a little bit of this window here without having it show the whole damn thing.
It's just the song in question. This is all OC remix stuff. Fine, I'll move on to something else while I try and figure this out. We chat. There's a Yoshi's Island remix, so, I'm a little, so it's upsetting you guys weren't that into it, but okay. That won't work. Hopefully, this won't screw things over. Nope, that doesn't work. Okay, cancel. Okay, fair enough. I won't do that again. Okay, I give up on this. All I want to do is be able to show you guys like my music, what's going on right now. But I can't do that without like showing something else. No, nope, oven's ready. Tonight. You want to know why we're fucking gamers? We're drinking fucking gamer fuel. Gamer! I've got like three more of these, so this is just... I'm feeling a little drowsy, so I figure I'll just start off the downhill slide. Also, I'm going to pull up the YouTube videos and just look at it. And I cannot open this. Sniff. too crazy like that to go so no I don't I don't drink a lot of this stuff I drink it like I'm almost done trying to figure this out, but yeah, I don't drink. I don't drink a lot of these energy drinks. Like, I want to say maybe once a month, two if I if I just could not sleep one night. Also, okay, yeah, I am louder than music, even though I should probably tell, turn it down even more.
Okay, there we go. It seemed loud to me. Anyway. I used to be bad. I used to be really bad with them, like, when I was in high school and just graduating. Because they, they were the new craze at the time. So it's like, oh, hey, energy drink. I'm just going to slime an energy drink. And then go on my day. Energy drinks were coming out, but they were still expensive. It was like, oh, hey, energy drink. Slam it, slam it, slam energy drink, slam it. Energy drink here, here and there. Slam them all. And then it was like, okay, well, I don't need these because I just naturally stay up this late anyway. And then I got a scare. Oh, hi. Hi, TVZ. I... Oh, God. I, uh, what the hell is it? I had, uh, I didn't really get a scare, just like, I, there was, like, things passing throughout the wavelengths, like, well, people are, like, waning off of these. Interesting time, okay. You can, if you, you talk about it if you feel like it, your call if you want to or not. I'm gonna keep on my story for a little bit, though. Um... But yeah, people were starting to wane off of energy drinks. So it was like, there were so many things coming. It's like, this does this to you, and this does that to you. It's like, hmm. Well, I drink them. I drink them a bit, but I think I'm going to pull back a little bit. And then, like, in the last two or three years, I got two big scares from other people that I uh, that were in my life. It was like, okay. We're going to take those energy drinks down to, like, once a month or less. Oh, you got a gamer in your neighborhood? Jokes. Uh, what is it? Oh, this whole can's only 90, 90 calories. Wow. Okay, let me t let me just pop in here quick. Oh, I see. So there's just a standoff behind you. I mean. Well, I can only thing I can say is I don't know where you are elevation wise, but if you if you have like a lower level of your house, I would say get to that lower level, preferably underground. Yeah, lock the doors, only open it if you see if you see the, the dress blues come to your door asking questions. Anyway. Exactly, that's where you should be. Perfectly safe. Right there. Perfectly safe. Anyway. Keep a headphone off so I can hear my stuff. I hear my food. Um, so anyway, we had the two big scares. So one was kind of a lesser one. Um, I guess I have to get a little back to work. In my, in my local friend group, we, like, I'm not a large, I'm not a, I'm not a thin, I'm not a, like, I'm not morbidly obese, but I know I'm not thin either. There's a guy in our friends group who is, who is like, outclasses me by a good 150 pounds. He's on keto right now, so he's getting it under control, but he, but for a long time, he outclassed me by 100, 150 pounds. And another one of our friends who works tech for, uh, for us, tech support for a bank was telling us, yeah, we, uh, there's this one guy that, that uh, there's this one guy at work who drinks like, who drinks like four or five energy drinks a day and they're just stacked up on his desk. His trash, his little like desk side trash can is always full of them, all of the cans. And like, like I said, and I already told you his size and he's like, you know, six, 600, 650, something crazy like that. And I and I'm just like, yeah, that's probably a good idea to not drink energy drinks all that time because I think that's a part of the side effect is you just you just blow up. Did I did I make it sexual? I just mentioned that I'm a large man. I'm 340. So anyway.
Oh, your teacher scared you straight. That's good. I mean, you do. I mean, everybody. If you got a lot going on in your life, you do occasionally need a little bit of a pick me up, but don't like make it your soul income or soul. Your soul hydration income, we'll say. Anyway, so the other story ha that happened happened a little while after my buddy told me this story about one of his friends. Is at my parents' house. Uh, they have like they basically have it set up where they have like you know two floors. They have the main building they they live in with an. They have the main building they live in, which has an addition on the side like this. And then there is an upper floor, which goes on top of this part. That is where we have tenants. They're talking a lot, a lot of crap for someone within Doria range. Um, but yeah, it was an older couple that was renting out the place. Still rents out that, that upper area right now. Oh yeah, they still rent out that place. Their son, though, apparently he drank. He drank every single day. He, uh, since he was out of high school, he drank two to three energy drinks every single day. Now th this kid is, I say kid because he's a couple years younger than me. He's was 25 at the time, 24th time when this happened. Because he had so many energy drinks throughout his life and so frequently, his kidneys went from, you know, kidneys, you know, something like a little bit bigger than your hand is supposed to be. His kidneys went to be, his when the, do the doctors checked up on him randomly one day and they rushed him to urgent care, the doctor said his kidneys were about this big. Both of them. So now, you, and I make that story because, like I said, I don't drink too many of these. I'm gonna need them. To, I'm gonna need them throughout this process today. But don't make this your sole income of drink. Kill ya. Speaking of, cold one with the boys. Oh, yeah, you should definitely have her go visit her doctor to make sure she doesn't have like, like shrunken kidneys. Like I'm pretty sure mine are, mine are not the healthiest because I used to do that when I was in high school, but hey, you're a high schooler, you don't give a fuck. Which is the case of why I have to get up and pee like every two to three hours. It's, I'm not unhealthy, but I know I am not at normal human standard. Anyway. <laughs> I'm scaring people. I'm going to go get water now. Thanks. Bye. Um, okay. That's her. That's her prerogative then. I mean, you can tell her. But if that's her prerogative, you're not going to change much. Sorry to say. Let's go diving through the Twitters. Doing IRL stuff is weird. Also, thanks everybody who's been shown, who's been putting this up. Um. Coming through my Twitter feed. Mm. 
Yeah, I can imagine. Um, I can t I can tell an even even older story actually of some of this kind of stuff. Um, but. I was, like, I was thumbing through stuff. Holy cow, people. Oh, it's PK. That's why. Sorry. I should say PK Sparks. He's, uh... PK Sparks is, po is uh, Pokemon Go flexing. So I saw that in my feed. Yeah, like, your ribs won't break from, like, a fleshy thing beating. But here's the thing. Fleshy thing beating. Malleable. If you're going to take that out of context, don't care. <laughs> um, okay, so, store, okay, continuing story time. So, middle school, eighth year, eighth grade, eighth year, whatever you want to say it. This was right when energy drinks just came out. Like when energy drinks were in those mini cans, like those eight ounce cans, and they were potent as hell. We had somebody on a on our uh, class field trip to Washington D.C., which we took like a we took like a big we took like a big um, commercial bus, like a you know like the you see them on the highway all the time, and I can't remember what it's called right now basically shared ride bus we took one of those to go from here to washington dc along the trip we so one, one of our classmates said, decided hey i'm gonna just go buy energy drinks and he came back out with like seven of these energy drinks not a tour bus there was like at least 40 of us on the bus anyway but he came out with seven of these energy drinks you know a little eight ounce can energy drinks potent as hell this is also 9 o'clock at night. He went glug, 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 down three of them within about an hour, waited a little bit, down to fourth one, waited, waited, waited for a while, couldn't go to sleep for obvious reasons. Everybody woke up and he's still awake. You know, like, haven't you gone to sleep? Like, no, I can't fall asleep. Takes another, takes one or two more of those energy drinks when everybody else up, glug. We we're finally in DC. He downs the other one. So, over the span of, I want to say approximately 12 hours, this child, approximately 12 time? No, that's a little more. 13 or 14? That's, that sounds about right. 13, 14. 13, 14 year old kid. Had drinking super potent energy drinks when they first came out. And we were all surprised he wasn't dead in DC. And don't worry, this isn't going to be my sole thing. I've already had at least three bottles of water throughout this stream. And, um, like, to curb my, because... Jedi Fallen Order? Didn't they just drop the Emperor Rises trailer, like, yesterday? Anyway, uh, going around that for a minute. I, um, so even though I avoided energy drinks, I still slam soda. Like, I don't have my tonsils or my adenoid in the back of my throat. So drinking soda doesn't hurt when I drink it, like most people does. It, like, is that acidic burn. I get nothing. So, if I don't, like physically monitor myself 
I will just slam sodas. I still do have that issue. So, some people, like, when they drink soda fast, it, like, gets an, an acidic burn, like, in their, like, in their, like, their mouth, like, around here or going down their throat. I've had so much soda, and like I said, my tonsil and my anoids, adenoids are out of my are out of my throat that I don't feel any of that. With that being said, like I like I said, I slam soda, so I buy so now I buy bottled water to be to give my body the motor of hey, you're still slamming something cylindrical, but it's water. I'm hoping that like helps because I know I drink weight. I know I know I used to, and I still do to some extent drink way too much soda. Hi, Pixel. I got the Plumo of Dumo and you missed it. Weird. We got. I'll. I keep on it because it's just kind of a. I like. This is kind of stuff I kind of get fixated on. Stuff I have like personal experience with, but like this is a weird conversation I've taken us on tonight, hasn't it? <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, I stopped. Like I used to buy juice too, thinking, oh, this is. I used. Uh, in, in, I'm not trying to. I, I say, start saying things and I don't think about the present parties. I apologize. I used to buy juice as well and do a juice cleanse occasionally. Uh, like, a, you know, like a juice cleanse. But then after like, I think like a year of like, you know, once every two months just having a juice cleanse week where I just drink juice. I look at the contents on the juice bottle like... This is worse for me than soda. What the hell? And I've never really bought fruit juice since. <laughs> Just cause like, I know it's a more natural sugar so it's not as bad for you, but it's still as, as much if not more than you know, a soda when it comes to sugar content because of all the natural sugars in fruit. But hey, everybody do what they do. I'm not here to be a health nut and tell people what to do. Uh, that's just what I, what I did. I think like most like big name brand sodas, like, you know, Ocean Wave, High C, those are really sugary. But I think ones that are, that are totally you know, uh, organic or stuff like that, they're, they are on the better side than, they are, they are on the side of better than soda. So. Yeah, every liquid is a water. Exactly. Like if I, like that's the kind of a dumb thing. But I would not oppose to having like a uh, orange, like, you know, having a tree or something like that. Having a tr like a lemon tree, orange tree, something like that, that I could just occasionally go out, pull fruit from and just juice it up. That's what something I would do. Turn that, blend that, <laughs> just cut out the wedges, throw it in a blender, blend it up, sift out the pulp, done. Anyway. I think the pan's cool enough now where I can get it out of the oven. Plus, I'm going to go pee really quick, so enjoy the music.
All right. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna let that cool for a minute before I go grab it and bring it over here to sit down and eat. So. <laughs> In Colorado, we had a lemon tree out back. Oh, there was. Oh, there was cacti all around it. I I had to read it. It's like, what's a caddy? Did you mess up golf? What happened? <laughs> oh. Okay, I've had I've had peaches off the tree. I've had peaches and plums off the tree. Not a huge fan of plums, but I had pe but I focused on the peaches off the tree. That stuff's good, man. <laughs> All right, Tamal. Um, what is it? Oh, that's what I had to like re re chat to like remember. Okay. <laughs> That one's loud as hell. <laughs> I should turn that down. Sorry. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I gotta read that message now. Uh, oh, I can't see it. I can't see it. The fuck, Twitch? <laughs> I can't read it. It was thoughtful. And I can't read it because Twitch won't give me into my activity feed. I'm mad. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll go adjust that in OBS really quick if I can't. Well, no, I can't anymore. Damn it. I'm sorry. Can you even hear this? Oh, are you off, Blaziken, dude? If you are, then have a good evening. Ugh. I hate to sound like this, but just DM me the message if you remember it so I can <laughs> do it. It popped up down here so freaking small. Couldn't read it in time. And yeah. But I do appreciate the donation. I do I do appreciate that a lot. Uh, How the hell do I see my own channel? Hold on, I have a way to see it. Hold on, I have an idea. Oh, is that... Uh, maybe I can read it here. Okay, no, this message didn't pop up here. Uh... The chat might blip out of existence for a minute. I apologize, but this is the only way I can, like, read what's going on. Also, let me adjust my widgets. Donations. There we go. Look, I can read it. Happy 10 years, buddy. Glad to have been good friends for a little over 7 years now. Wish we could talk and catch up more, but I know how busy the both of us are with being responsible adults. Hope you continue to have more fun years of doing great videos. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You know what? As dumb as it is, uh, not subscriptions, donations. Did I up the volume on that? No, that is just helling, that is just goddamn loud. Let's drop it down here. It might still be loud in my ears, though. Also, I guess I can keep that up now. <laughs> I can keep this up so I can, like, read stuff. Anyway. Dude, everything makes me old. Everything just makes me feel old. Like, I'm gonna go get something really quick here.
Okay, I found it. So, in my hands, I hold what I said is my second favorite Mario game at some point tonight. I hold Super Mario Galaxy. I fucking love this game. It's my second favorite Mario game. Let's see, where is the copyright information? All right. Who would like to feel old first? Heck yeah, Borger. Anyway. You're going to hate yourself when I tell you this. I'm going to hate myself because this has happened. <laughs> this happened at some point. Super Mario Galaxy. Released for the Nintendo Wii in 2007. Approximately a full year after I graduated high school. This game is 12 years old. 12. 12. I'm older than Mommy Jelly. <laughs> All right. So. I'm be chilling here. I'm gonna be munching on the the most. I'm gonna be munching on this. Yes, this is the shirt that is. This is the shirt that's been pictured in my icon whenever whenever it gets commissioned and whatnot. This is the shirt that is always based on in every picture of myself. Felt I should wear it, wear it today. Anyway, I'm gonna be eating the most delicious food. The most adult food, even. Uh, if this, if this, if me eating grosses anybody out, just let me know. I'll like cut feed and whatnot. I mostly give a little bit of warning because growing up with my dad, it was he was in the Marines, so you had to eat your food in 10 minutes. So if you had anything you had to say to anybody, you had to eat it, cheek pouching it on one side and talking on the other side of your mouth. So I know it's a disgusting habit and I try to break it because because nobody wants to just see that in their day-to-day -day life. It's just like, oh god, that guy's talking with his mouth full of food. Disgusting. That's probably where a lot of my eating habits and a lot of my uh, drinking habits, non-alcoholic by the way, drinking habits that come from is because my dad was my dad was raised for like a year or two that he had to finish his food in 10 minutes or he didn't get or he didn't get any more and he kept that he lived that lifestyle all the way until this day still where he just if he has food like i'm pretty sure there's only there's like very little stopping him from taking like a a, a ladle that you use for chili and you eat using that to eat food he just wolfed stuff down because that he never got past that point Chicken nuggets are meals when you have very little cooking skill and when you have... Cool. 
when you have very little cooking skill and you also have very little money. That's how my dad was when I was like five. Like I eventually got got good enough to keep up with him eating. <laughs> um So like he like it still happens to the stakes. So my mother and my and my sisters, they do not eat food fast. So my dad is the first one to finish his meal. I'm usually second. Oh, have I have I done Faye today? I think I've been focused on Dragalia. Let me make sure. Thank you. But yeah, it's like my dad finishes first, way ahead of everybody. I finished like a couple minutes behind him because I've had to keep up with him throughout my life of helping him with stuff. Uh, According to this, I haven't. Nope, I, I have. All oh, right. I rolled on the... Uh, my luck has been getting a little bit better in this game recently. So... I don't know how well you can't see us too well. Come on, readjust. So I rolled Leaf. God, that is not very good. I could definitely just use the game capture, but that's what we're gonna work with. So I rolled, so I got Leith. Leith, however you say her name. The cat lady on this banner. Oh, but it doesn't end there. Cause I was like, oh right, the spring banner's still going on. I should double, I should definitely I should probably double back and see if I can pull something on that. I'm pulling, I'm rolling like, I'm rolling green and blue because I don't only care about Marissa and Veronica on that banner. I got, I got the, the, uh, very distraught bunny girl. I am a rabbit. Soft. Like, she says three words. That's it. She says three words. That's not like, she's just like, what the hell is going on? That's not healthy. That's unhealthy. Like, you do you, I'm not going to change your life, but that's still not healthy. Not that one. Not Black Genesis. Not that old ass song. Am I at random? Oh yeah, I'm on random. Okay. Um. So that prompts another story for me. So. When we were still, like, we were fresh out of high school. A lot of my friends were also like that, where they just wouldn't eat. Me, on the other hand, like, even when, even my friend who was uh, heavier than me, bigger than me, he, he would somehow find a way not to eat. Even though, like, natural body tendencies at that point, just, like, consume. Or rather, CONSUME! Regardless of, of my dumb stick there. Like, there was one time where we were hanging out for a weekend. When he, when, uh, 
when he's moved into his brother's house out here where I am now. We were hanging out for a weekend and we were driving around places going here and there and everywhere. And it had been a day and a half since anybody had like gone to a grocery store or gone to a fast food place or anything. And I was starting to I was starting to get shaky because they hadn't gone anywhere and I hadn't eaten in a day and a half, other than maybe like some chips. So I'm doing this, I'm like, when I'm in the car, I'm like slumped in the corner like this, trying to focus on not dying. And we finally decided, you know, part ways. They finally took me back home so I could, or they finally took me, we met at our other, friend, our other friend's house, who was at like a halfway point between the two cities at the time. But he, we, we, uh, he dropped me off so I could, so I could take my car and go home. I went the, I went the opposite way of home went to the McDonald's and got food because I hadn't eaten in about 36 hours I still to this day don't understand how they how they went like that by the way Don't judge me, I'm definitely not playing my stupid Dragalia game. Nope, not me. How many of these stupid... Oh, 76, okay. Well, you know what? It doesn't make me happy that you only go to that extent. Oh, God damn it! This stupid design. So I would like to mention this can design is ass. Like, you have to... You have to break a tab that's got, like, a like a thin plastic thing on here. Then you have to pull the tab back. Sometimes it doesn't snap all the way into place, so when you drink it, it partially closes. Okay, I've never worked the kind of job you worked, uh, DBZ, but I would say, you know, this is just me talking. Like, if I knew I had to work a 10-hour shift and I don't get a break, I would buy, like, it's not healthy, but I would just buy, like, a, a thing of Swiss cake rolls or something that doesn't need to be heated or anything and just throw that in, in the glove box or something. And then whenever I feel hungry, just pull one of them out.
Mm. Right of things. So, two nights ago, uh, post stream, yeah, post stream two nights ago. Uh, just okay. I gotta talk. So, I'm sub to one channel. I'm sub to one channel here on Twitch. It's Lethero. So in his Discord, they throw out pings for roles. There's a ping for to play TF2. It's like, oh, why not? I don't play TF2 in forever. <clears throat> Long time fans might remember this person I'm talking about. When, while I'm playing, uh, Wee Master 890 who changed, who's changed his name to Ultiki or Taki, as he's sometimes referred to, rolls up in the chat and we start reminiscing and talking with each other talking about what's happened since the last time we talked like three or four years ago when he blipped off the radar and I couldn't talk very often. Um, he was starting to tell me about like what happened to all the people we used to know to collectively, which by the way, that guy is like, how is like the starting point for where I've met pretty much all of you people that I talked to, like, you know, Lucky, Sarah, Tamal, all you guys, Guy as well, that, he was the, the initiator point, so, yeah. <laughs> uh, turns out, turns out I used to have, on Skype, I was in a group, I would have group texts with him, a bunch of other mutual friends, and apparently I knew Kira at one point. The same Kira that you're thinking about, that's on Twitter. Apparently, I knew Kira at one point. Haven't talked with her for like five or six years, but oh well. So, we have these, uh, by the way, I'm still, I'm still technically employed even though I'm laid off right now. We have these at my work. We have, th thanks Mario. We have these at my work. And I was, I flipped them over. I looked at the back and it's just like, the f this selection is ass. Why did I think I would get this? Like. There's no Tomba. There's no any. There's no Crash. No Spyro. There's like three Tekkens. Five car racers. Uh, like ten shooter games, and then Metal Gear Solid. I mean, there are other, there are other ones that are actually packaged on board. You can get at if you do a little finagling in there. But still, it's like they want people to pay seventy dollars for like thirteen games that have that have current iterations out there. That ha that these old iterations have no meaning on the world on the world anymore. And I know that sounds a bit hypocritical when I'm sitting here with an NES classic and a SNES classic. But like, even then, this thing, this thing has games that have, will have lasted a lifetime. That still last a lifetime without the power supply too, right? Like, just name, like, the ones I can name up here, Super Mario World 1 and 2, Super Mario RPG around here, Link to the Past, Super Metroid... Like, these are games that people still talk about to this day. People are still discovering to this day that they that they love. No matter their age. What's the last person that you talked to that said, Oh yeah, I discovered Tekken 3 the other day and it was, it was fucking bonkers. Dude, Tekken like 7's out. And you have the console to play that one. And no one's going to 
fight fight you in Tekken 3. Sorry, I had to laugh for a minute because I didn't realize Tekken 3 had issues. <laughs> but here's why I stand on all that. Hmm. Here's why I stand on that exactly. Is I had to look at what games I had. If I were to get it, I'm looking at 10 bucks. For what game selections on there, I'm looking at 10 bucks best at, uh, for lowest for like the highest i'll pay no matter no matter what my financial status is ten dollars is what i'm going to pay for that thing what i'm hoping is going to happen is that work is that is that work is just going to release one <clears throat> our work is going to have one and it's going to get like put on the shelf in in our little company store a little funny money store and i'm going to go in there and buy it for for effectively free Let's see. Now download an open source tool called uh, Bleemseek from GitHub that allows you to modify their place to cloud. However, with most hex and mods, this one has a set of risks. So yeah, I'm just thumbing through what we got, what I can see here. Uh, yeah, the Justice Maze is looking cool. Um, I work well. It's made, it, most of its stations in the Midwest, although there is a facility in Reno, Nevada. Uh, I work at Swiss Colony, not the food area. Yes, it is. It's a remix of Rusty Ruin, actually. <sighs> Hold on. that all done um this one's on oh, this one's on uh sarah if you want it for your own purposes this is one that's on oc remix so just go through their archives find sonic 3d blast i mean this does credit uh june Sonoe, so it is technically butt rock i hate that i learned that term from from mr game grampu aaron So anyway, so anyway, I found the list. So I'm going to pull up the, uh, uh, 
I'm going to do this right now. Just because this is fun to do. Classic games. So. So on the PlayStation Classic is Battle Arena Toshi Toshinden. That sounds like a fighting game. I'm pretty sure it is. Cool Borders 2. Snowboarding game. Okay, that's probably unique. Whatever. Destruction Derby. Car racing. Okay. Final Fantasy 7. Okay, they got one right. Grand Theft Auto. They got another one right. <laughs> Intelligent Cube. Sounds like some BS puzzle game. I don't e I remember reading it. Didn't remember what the screenshot was that was associated with it. Jumping Flash. Not a lot of people like this game. It's, though I think it's quirky as all hell and I think I would actually play it. Metal Gear Solid. Another one. Mr. Driller. Okay. Kind of a hit or miss. Oddworld Abe's Odyssey. That one is horribly niche. Like, like that, that uh, a Oddworld Abe's Odyssey. Horrendously niche. Like, only a few people will like it and whatnot. Okay, so it's a good puzzle game. Thank you for clarifying. The original Rayman. Fair enough. Resident Evil Director's Cut. Again, fair enough. We do have the remakes on everything now, I think. Not just GameCube, but everything. But whatever. No, wait. Director's Cut was that weird, like, trying to expand the story and somehow made Resident Evil worse game, isn't it? Never mind. It's bad. <laughs> The first Persona game. Okay, I'm a little interested, even though I think that was kind of like still in Shimigami Tensei area where it was it's not all that great of an RPG. Anyway. Ridge Racer Type 4, driving game. Super Puzzle Fighter 2 Turbo. Good. That's a good game. I know of that. I haven't played it, but I know of it. <laughs> Siphon Filter. It's a shooting game. Specifically a sniping shooting game. Tekken 3. I talked about this. Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six. Classic shooting game, but you aren't going to play with anybody with on that. <clears throat> Twisted Metal. I don't remember what that one is. I think it's good. I can't remember. And Wild Arms. So let's go through the rest of what was discovered in the PlayStation Classic. <clears throat> Chocobo's Mysterious Dungeon. Columnic Ray Rally. <clears throat> a shooting game, or uh, driving game? Oh well. Crash Bandicoot. Crash Bandicoot 2. Toy Story 2. Very good game. Okay, yeah, okay. I It sounded familiar, I couldn't think of it. So yeah, Twist Middle. Toy Story 2. Phenomenal game. Driver. Phenomenal game. I don't know what Ergeese is. E H R G E I Z. Fighting Force, I don't remember, I don't think I've seen that. Gran Turismo, kind of a sandbox game, kind of like. The next thing I mentioned, Grand Theft Auto 2. Harry Potter and Philosopher's Stone, oh, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> uh, Kagero, I, I remember Kagero because I think Oddly enough, my youth pastor had had this game, and it was a stealth ninja game. I could be wrong. Klonoa. Cooler World. No idea what that is. Legacy of Kane. Soul Reaver. You know, kind of a really good game. Really good game? Medal of Honor. That's a miss. Oops. Medieval. Mega Man Legends. Mis the Mr. Driller G, which I think is a follow-up. Uh, Paka Paka Passion, which I think I may have played on the Saturn, of all things. Or is that Baku Baku? That sounds familiar in my head. Parappa the Rappa. That's hidden. Why? Parasite Eve. That's hidden. Why? Raystorm. I don't know it. 
Ridge Racer, good driving game. I think it's like falls in the same realm as the other Ridge Racer game I mentioned. This, uh, Sarah, this is all on there. You have to basically just flip a switch to say, hey, let me see these games too. It's literally a switch you flip in with a keyboard and say, hey, I want to see it. The original Silent Hill. Spec Ops Stealth Control. Or Stealth Patrol, excuse me. No, no bouncer. I'm, it's in alphabetical order. <clears throat> exactly. They want easy money. I'll finish up that thought in a second. S two Street Fighter games, which are still played and still highly loved games... Street Fighter Alpha 3 and Street Fighter EX Plus Alpha. The original Suikoden. Which I think is Secret of Mana. Is Secret of... No, Suikoden 2 is Secret of Mana, if I think, right? Anyway, Suikoden is, uh, is in there hidden. Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider 2. Tomba is in there. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. You know, when the series got really good. Vagrant Story. Another really good game. Wild Arms 2, which is another RPG game. Xevious 3D slash G+. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of, like, really good games that are just sitting in the back half of the PlayStation Classic that you have to hack to get at. Yeah, no Legend of Dragoon, no Spyro. I know I just now noticed that. Also, I have to double back because I want to say there was something I was going to talk about. Okay, I see it now. So, multiple times throughout throughout the last year, I made the joke of so of Sony. We don't need any. We don't need to compete with any of our competitors. We're in a league of our own. We got this on lockdown. Also Sony, PlayStation Classic. Fuck, my nugs got cold. <laughs> I've been yelling for so long, my nuggets got cold. I'll be right back. Yeah, Raven, I instantly ruined that. <laughs>
Oh, is your... I realize I'm going to sound like an asshole, Fawful. Because I know you were really passionate about it, but I forgot what your... I forgot what tea was. Was it the was it the uh, maple leaves or was it something else? Because I know you were really passionate about watching it, and then well, if it's if you're back, that means uh okay, it is the leaves. Okay, I did read that right. I can I can subconsciously remember things. <laughs> but watching the whole American uh, hand egg sport, I understand if it's like. If it's a scoring difference of three to nil, you're, it's not looking too good at the half. Listen. The only team that gets talked about around here, the area I am, is the Packers. Over the last seven years, the Packers have had a streak of, of, they either do one of two things. They don't have any in between. They either, they either explode in the first half, get ahead by, by like, hockey football, four points, 28, four, uh, four touchdowns, four points, 28 points in football terms. You know, explode at the gate. 28 nothing. They still lose. Or they do fuck all the whole game and, and lose 35 to 3. That's what's been going on over the last seven years with the Packers, and it's gotten worse as time has gone on. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, I know Packers was like 15 years ago when they had any kind of big milestone they went through in play in terms of playoffs. They make the playoffs, usually by wild card, but they make the playoffs and they lose that first game. I've been watching, I watched him for like 20 years with my dad and then I stopped watching football altogether. <laughs> a few more nugs here i can probably depending upon if the goon squad is available you know who you are <laughs> i could probably throw up some like risk oh, of rain too. Goon squad when i joined the call i'm like i feel very attacked right now well lucky has joined us <laughs> i just i just I, I hit the button joy i just hear goon squad and i'm like that, 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 okay yeah i'm almost done. i'm almost done with dinner so i'm Probably That's thinking fine. about doing multiplayer stuff here in a second. I may be slightly distracted in a sec. My brother is like, let's do a Game of Thrones fantasy league. I'm like, why? Why? <laughs> no. One second. I can see I can see how you look right now. I can see your reaction. <laughs> That's basically how I look as well. Appropriate. Just like why would you do this? And then I've stopped and wait, wait. That's because not, the, people that's not are the, crazy. No, no, that's not the stupidest thing I heard. Kyle, the K Mummy Larson, it currently participates in a Bachelorette fantasy league. That boy needs help. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about the Bachelorette fantasy league. Also, hello. Yes, I have been summoned. Uh, I'm apparently louder than Scooter. 
I'm apparently very low. I'll fix it in a but, second. But Sco yeah, Scooter can fix that really easily, more easily than I can. No, Plumo, no. <laughs> Pixel, Pixel feels very attacked right now. What the heck? Don't judge, Pika. Game of Thrones, Oreos. Wow. Uh, what is. I have many questions. All of them start with what? Uh. Oh, God. Like, I, I understand, like, the point of them, but I was like, sitting there, like, I don't want to be sitting there, like, watching Game of Thrones and, like, caring more about certain characters just because they're on some stupid team than, you know, enjoying the plot. I feel like that's actually going to subvert my ability to enjoy the plot more. I don't know. I think if I were to do any Game of Thrones meme thing, I, I saw someone had set up a display of candles and they were like, yeah, light a candle every time someone dies this season. You'll run out of candles. <laughs> or are you going to start a forest fire? No, I'm... Banking, the game of third season finale occurred and America was set on fire. <laughs> no, I'm convinced that like like just from what little I know of Game of Thrones overall, <clears throat> um, I'm convinced that like the show is gonna end with Daenerys, John, and I think that's about it. That's all I expect out of anybody in that on that island to be left alive. That's of note. Oh yeah, no, I I would say odds are fairly decent that John and Danny will still be alive at the end of the season. That's end it, like series. every other character, gone. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there are some that I think are more likely to be alive than others, but the no one else do I feel confident saying I think they'll, they'll live. I know, I think the most interesting discussions I have are, are how to, or with my friends that are, watch, are, uh, so how do you think X character is going to die? Painfully. Very painful. I mean, you're not wrong. I need to get caught up though. I'm. Well, I need to also figure out whether I'm gonna go in with my bro's girlfriend on HBO now or not. But I'm. I never finished last season. And Probably should do that. Might be a little important. Kind of some pretty important things at the end of the season, you know. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I bit. know the basics of, of what... I I know a couple of things that happened. Mostly, oh, uh, will people stop shipping John and Danny, please? It is so squick to me. But, but, the incest. <sighs> Just because they don't know doesn't mean it's not okay. <clears throat> I'm looking at you, anyway, man. You probably shouldn't spoil you too much in case people aren't caught up. Oh, I don't. I don't watch. So I know. I'm just saying. When you're on a stream, you should probably keep that sort of yeah, thing. Because I was moment. just about to explain. Yeah. Like there was one scene that I saw that, like for the one time I was there watching, they did it. It's like okay, they really go all out on their death scenes. But I was like, mm, no, no, I should not talk about this. Hold on. <laughs> Spoilers, Game of, Game of Thrones has incest. Yeah, spoilers. You'll learn that in the first episode, so it's okay. Spoilers, people die in Game of Thrones. Spoilers, people die when they're killed. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> uh, Fawful's saying you're still way I'll like assess you quieter than the rest of us. Working on it. Cool. Yeah, I'm still... As someone who read the books, I'm still bitter that the yeah. TV series is going to end first. It's less that require the new skewer, it's more just like because like the way like the Discord mic sounds work, it makes our voices seem louder. Right. So you probably just put like a Discord down in general. I I, uh, I just did. I put it down to like seventy percent or so. Yeah, it should be good. It wasn't that bad. Um, yeah, because I'm peaking I'm peaking yellow, red, you guys are also yellow, red, so we're roughly the same volume according to readouts that I've got down here. Spoilers, uh, Peter Dinklage is a drunk dwarf. 
Spoilers, Peter Dinklage is a national treasure. <laughs> Peter Dinklage... Spoilers, Peter Dinklage is, like, the best character. So, because most of us are going to it, I'm just going to post this in general chat. This is a Momo thing that's happening. I think mainly for so Lucky can see it for whatever reason. <laughs> yeah, I know. I saw that. I'm wondering what the specific details of it. I'm not surprised that they're doing like something like that because that's a standard at cons. But the fact that this seems very shoujo kawaii is interesting. Real talk. I would 100% down to go to a slumber party. Hmm. I am too, because I'm not going to... I don't plan to sleep. <laughs> well, I plan no, to sleep. No, I plan to sleep, no, no, get some sleep. Get some sleep. Sleep can happen after the con. Sleep is good for you. Wow, I guess you're just not going to watch Aven Avengers Infinity War ever again. Wait, what? Peter, uh, they're saying they're not going to watch any movie with Peter Dinklage in it. It's like, okay, well, the Star the Star Forger is Peter Dinklage in that movie, so. That was the bad. What? It was just, oh, it's Peter Dinklage. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> He's here now. Okay. Was also in X. No, it wasn't first class. Days of Future Past. That's that's the one where where he was that he was in. I got three nuggets left, so I'm almost done. <laughs> but um, other than uh. <laughs> TV, TV type stuff and movies. Peter is also the voice of your helper bot in Destiny. So, how the sudden turn to a podcast out here, Big Fletch? Mm hmm. Big thing. I mean. I'm technically under IRL right now, so this is all within the confines of IRL. <laughs> Peter Tinklage is indeed a real person. But so we'll get back to games, like I said. Wait, what? I'm here. <laughs> Hi. Hi, you must just talk about Peter Tinklage. Okay. Yeah. I'm just finishing up dinner now, and I the moment I said I'm almost done with dinner... I'll round up the goons and we'll do and we'll do stuff. Lucky jumped in here. <laughs> First words he heard was goon squad. Oh my god, I accidentally have the stream on and there's an echo. So just reading, I'm just catching up on Twitter in this case there's something additional I want to talk about while I'm still doing this. I think I've gone through everything, except, okay. I haven't played the demo yet. Maybe I can do that like a wee hours of the morning thing, but Scrap Story, I've been following it for like since I, like since like the, the Twitter account for it has only had like a thousand uh, followers. I'm loving it because it looks like it looks like what would happen if Paper Mario really stuck to the paper aesthetic and kept sticking to it, minus the RPG parts. <laughs> like, everything is... Everything in this game... I could pull up a picture, actually. Actually, this is perfect. I think Farf knows about it, at the very least. Let me go hide away in my corner here, where I belong. 
One minute. And I'm going to kill the music. <clears throat> So this is just, I'll, it's a little movie, I'll play it in a second here, but this is just a screenshot from it right, or right now, effectively. Where's my webcam in this one? Filters. Boop. <clears throat> this is the Goon Squad. Um, for anybody that doesn't know them, uh, if you want to feel like you can sound off, but uh, Lucky joined in here first. What are we talking about? I'm just introducing everybody Everybody who hasn't met you guys yet. Hi, my name's Tamal. <laughs> <laughs> so, nah, I'm lucky. that's lucky. We have Illuiver, Sarah, who's also been chatting with you guys throughout the evening. Hello. And then Tamal just joined. Hi, I'm Scooter. Your, your local farm boy. Farm game boy. Cla clarification. Hey. Also, even though I introduce myself as Gooder, that comes up way too often. It's For some reason, people always confuse us. I don't know why. Yeah, that's stop that has stopped in Lucky streams. But if we appear at somebody else's stream at the same time, it happens. <laughs> I can kind of hear a little bit of similarities. So. Yeah, like I, I can hear it too. It's close, but yeah, like obviously it seems really, really different because like. I've you, known you guys for so long, yeah, but I, yeah. I, can, I can kind of see. Yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna. Especially because like Mike's garble things sometimes a lot. Yeah. It's also Discord and all that stuff. All right. Hmm. You know what we could actually play today? What? We could play some Left 4 Dead too. We could. Wait. That do I have be... that installed? That but be I imagine that. Risk of Rain is on the agenda. We could definitely happen. do some Risk of Rain. Yeah. Obviously, the board game angle. Uh, I mean, there's lots okay. of different things. Ultimate chicken horse. We could do ultimate chicken. That chicky. is pretty adorable paper, by the way. Yeah, it, it is. is. It's so scrap story. Cute. I haven't seen that on Twitter. How have I, I not like heard of this before? It's like, it's adorable. It's more of like a rompy adventure, from what I can tell. Not so much it's a so uh, RPG wide game. Aesthetic. Like, oh, I'm just seeing it now. Damn it. I'm going to pull this back up. And th this is why I kind of say it reminds me of Paper Mario is this stuff here. No volume, but. Who is this? Hello. You, Derek, has joined the party. Hello. Mm. Sorry, I was like, I got caught up. Uh, Don't worry about that's it. That's fine. We all just kind of like got here. I got caught up doing. Actually, I need to do this on the phone. That's fine. Also, wow. Thank you for the raid on YouTube, Ronald. I'm finishing up dinner and then we're going to actually play games instead of being IRL. <laughs> Ronald? The, Not the with same. The I'm Ronald deck? Not the same, Ronald. <laughs> Uh, can't believe I almost lost him yesterday. Well, you did once. You almost lost no, to Imakumi. No one saw that. <laughs> you did almost lose to Imakuni. Uh, I looked through my Steam game. You know what? I'm, I really missed the ship. Yeah, but it's broken. I'm going on a ship soon. We could go, right? go to the, the new ship. That's true. Well, thank you, Jeff. I'm going on a ship soon. There might be murder. Please, Please. no. All right. No. So, I wouldn't turn on uh, Leopard Dead Two at some point, but I think right now, the two that. the two big things that are that I have the biggest itch for to play is Risk of Rain, two, and oddly enough, Orange Juice, two. I forgot that game exists for like a brief moment. How? Because. That we have a lot of co-op games now. We do have a lot of co-op. Oh, I was looking through my list. I was like the top of my list. I wasn't looking at it. Oh, God. I heard Scooter. I think it's Woo! because... Of all the things, that's what breaks up. It I'm might be because kind of any surprised. type of pop-up on Steam will block it because it's the very first game on the list. 
Yeah, it's you. Well, it's to not. Be fair, we problem. haven't played orange juice in a long time, so I'm de- I'm totally down on this. You know what? Yeah, yeah we'll do we'll do 100 orange juice. I'll update things, and if you guys want to get started, um, Ronald, he's talking about the Ronald that's in the Pokemon trading card game, video game series. There's a Ronald. Basically, memes from Ron- yesterday. Basically, he's Inside your asshole rival. Of. Yeah, he's your asshole rival in that game. Well, so he's your we asshole are rival. Asshole rival in the first game. In second game, he's a confidant of sorts. Nah, he's still an asshole rival. Okay. Apparently, Blaziken thinks Gaia and Ceiling have similar voices. I did. I thought it was thick. So Ceiling's is angrier. I love it. <laughs> Say, I'm sorry, it is more, uh, Ceil- I love it. Not this confusion was like Tamal and Ceiling or something. I'm no, it's me and Scooter. No. And you uh, and Ceiling, apparently. Yeah. I mean, I do think that saying that Ceiling's voice is angrier and Gaia's is more ooh is completely correct. Gaia's is more ooh ooh. (laughs) Gaia's more ooh ooh. Gaia is more oh oh. Oh god. All right. All right. Let me update. Let me update Twitch here quick. I am perfectly okay with having the same voice as Rakao. I mean, okay. That that is an honor. There we go. All right. Oh my God! I forgot that I have furry ulti. <laughs> oh God. All right. One hundred percent orange juice. Oh my loaded. God! I haven't loaded this game forever. I right. haven't played since the replay of last year's lunar event was, which I never did end up getting the last couple of dice because mm-hmm. I was too lazy. Yeah, I didn't do it this time, so I'm going to boot up 100% orange juice, as I said. Um, and there's five of us here now, so... I mean, one can just... I mean, I can always sit out. It's free. Or spectate. We can also either. just spectate. Yeah. yeah, we can spectate. But clearly, because I'm the streamer, oh. I cannot, so you can all bully me. No, you get to, <laughs> you get to sit out. I mean, chat oh, no. needs to be introduced to, to, your, to certain shenanigans, but come with you playing OJ. Uh, OJ now has the subtitle A Leap Through Space and Time, by the way. It's yep. not that one for a while. Um, I think they only update whenever they update the game. Yeah, I think the Leap Through Space is probably a reference to Iru and uh, and Merrick, right? Do I feel like Wait, there's no right new now? DLC available? Uh, oh, it's so there, yeah. Yeah, there is, because um, there's the the new characters that came out mm-hmm. about a month and a half ago, I think. Yep. Yeah, bought them yet? Let's find out. So, I haven't, but I think I'm gonna pass on getting them. For the I bought them out. I was All just right. confused why I was I have, still saying that they're available. Ice, oh, also, I have Ice Queen. Uh, what is her name? <laughs> Kyoko. Uh, Princess. Ferne. Uh, yeah, that's Ferne. Oh, yeah, also, um, they did add voices for Alta, Kyoko, uh, Krilla, and K. Okay. Yeah. Recently. Wasn't the April Fool's thing that they were going to add thing to the Yeah. Bot? That yeah, would honestly it, it be... It was, and okay. I was really excited for a moment, and then I remembered what day it was, and I got really sad. Okay, the funniest thing about that... What the, the to fuck? me is that they just oh, hey. pulled, they just pulled random people from the internet who don't have the best mics for it too, and that's what like sealed it as the best prank for me. Oh, are you talking about the uh, mob voice oh. pack? Yeah, yes. the mob voice pack. And now ceiling hey, is gamer. here. Ceiling. I wonder what is here. I saw the tweet, but like didn't watch the video, so I like actually went to the store and be like, "Why the hell is it not there?" <laughs> and then I like watched the video, and I'm like, "Oh." I didn't even watch the video. I just had to to think about what the day was, and then I realized, oh. Okay, I think I'm gonna just stick with this. All right. This appearance. Characters purchased. Uh, Anyway, so uh, I'm gonna have a few questions. Three, in fact. First of all, what the hell is this pajama dreamland horse shit? (laughs) Uh, I mean, it's not. I mean, it's common to do to do slumber parties. My assumption. As I told them, is that it is probably like a very girly shoujo kawaii themed 
pajama party where they just, you know, hang out and watch Animu and talk about Animu related things. Just be thankful that it is not what AWA always used to have, which was the Yaoi Slumber Party. Oof, that oh. sounds horrible. On the other anyway. end, though, I, we did have the tradi- we did have the hilarious tradition of ta- of uh, anyone who had just turned eighteen. All right, we're gonna take you to baby's first hentai after dark. Oof. Hell yeah! <laughs> Wait, what? Also, Oof. apparently I have twelve tokens, so I'm gonna spend them really quick. Uh, All right, so okay. my second question: orange juice? Question mark? We are doing orange juice. Yeah, yeah. we're doing OJ. Why? Because yeah. I felt like doing it. Oh my god, I got an angry ball. Hell yeah! Oh yeah, no, they- some of the pets are adorable. Alright, third question. Uh, Zenki Zero came out and no one okay. told me. Wait, Zenki Zero came out? Apparently it came out on PS4 on the 9th. Oh, Literally yeah, no one- out. Literally this week. Literally no one said anything right. about it. Alright, Daddy, sorry. sorry. Sorry about that, but Uh, Zenki Zero is the newest by. game by- is it Danganronpa or is it Zero Escape's creator? I forget. It's Danganronpa's creator. Yeah. All right. Oh. Also, I need to look at something here because apparently I've okay. got vouchers for coins for orange juice, and I want to make sure I don't screw this up, so I can play the most uh, possible. So the vouchers will. T- so the vouchers will turn into coins after you play multiplayer games. Oh. And then of course you use you use the coins to get more pets. It it yeah. Mm. OJ has gotcha now. Yeah. It's had that for a while. Okay, Kichi have... Parade is a yeah. Southeast U.S. located Odoroid right. performance group who performs Japanese song and dance covers at events. Oh, so it's a concert. I guess that makes sense because it's Pajama Dream Land Live. Yeah. Thanks for stopping yeah. by, Dijin. Uh-huh. Also, I'm going to need this just so I can hide the password. Which one? Are you... Okay. Oh, oh. Man, I think Scooter's already doing it. Oh, uh, I, I, I didn't make no. I have made the room yet. Uh, no. B- b- best right, also, is bouncing Tressa. If you want that. Also, grats on finishing P4, Gaia. Thank you. Yeah. Hey. That's what kept me. I wanted to see all the cutscenes before I joined in. Oh, that's fine. Now do it again. <laughs> now do it again. I mean, but... I could. I only... okay. To my credit, I only failed to complete three of the social links. She um, did. She did way better than I did. I know I failed at. I know I only completed like six. Did you also finish the game, Scooter? No, I'm on December 7th. He's in December. Oh. So hence my post in spoilers. I have a lobby. The lobby's name is 10 Years Boys. Hell yeah, 10 Years. Hey. hey. I'm assuming thing. this is the I'm normal. Ten, what is this? This game wants me to play characters that aren't the new characters. That's a shame. All right, we can put oh, this away now. Where do we want to go? Look at my adorable uh, pudding and... chef self. Yes. Yeah. Also, if you folks, if you two want to like come and inspect it or whatnot. Also, if you guys, I don't know, I know only like one other person in here here cares about League of Legends esports. But, uh, Very lightly, but let's, did let's TSM hear it. TSM. Nope. Wait, what happened with TSM? Oh, look TL, at that. TL got the reverse sweep. Huh. Oh, congrats to Hell them. fucking yeah, dude. There's still hope for NA. <laughs> there is hope for NA. Okay. I mean, to for be now. fair, Liquid was pretty dominant yeah. all split. Well, the way I've been <laughs> looking at it for the past few about. years is the strength of NA is directly uh, proportional to how many teams are better than TSM. There. Now I don't have Because TSM has always been king of the baddies. TSM is like the baseline. Uh huh. It's like if you can't beat TSM, right. your team sucks. Let's go. So, C9 is uh, bad this year. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, Wait. yep. Okay, is I was... TSM bad? TSM I mean... is the baseline. They're... Oh. How you describe it. TSM is like, they don't really play the game that well, but they have good, like, individual players, so they're able to do well regionally. Right, who am I playing? Okay, the new two huh. are, on, are on the right, opposite of our two new bunnies. Iru and Mira. Hey. So, like, when gen- generally when TSM wins games, it's because, oh, Akali wasn't banned, so Bjergsen just gets to OP the fuck out of the entire game. Mm-hmm. I think Bjergsen's still carrying TSM. Alright, 
Yes, no. uh, who is it? Who Something wants to do characters? Uh, up to you guys. Scooter, you I'm want to take one of them? I'm actually reading my daily, which does not. I help. didn't look at my daily, so I don't know what I need. <laughs> I'll play as the. Nin uh, I'll play as either one. I'll you play as either one. Scooter. Also, speaking of course, saying, in a chat, characters. you might not be waiting too long because we did just get Koami Two on PC, which means they're mostly done with Koami Two now. <laughs> well, yeah. Are you Ray? I'm assuming by new characters you mean. Iru and Mira. Iru and Mira. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, I'm down to be a ninja if you want to play Iru. And wait, you, what are you, you play, do you want to play with them tomorrow? I, I can play whoever. I see. I think I, I, kinda, I, think I'll actually, I kinda really want to play this ninja. I'm actually gonna memes first round, so you guys can <laughs> Alright, you wanna go Iru then tomorrow? I'm taking Iru. You do dial. Sweet. Oh, that's good. Actually wait, what do I have? I want I'm a ninja now. <clears throat> Let's see. Just because need... it's another character that involves traps, and I like this. I don't put that up. I'm just happy that dailies allow are allowing me to meme. Daily, uh, my dailies want me to play Arthur, and I'm like, I should actually look hey, at my dailies. No, he's OP. <laughs> Unless they changed it. Last All time right. I played this, I felt like I he was way too good. I haven't any significant nerfs on him now. All right, I am ready. I am ready. Man, I need more interesting oh, traps. I'm gonna go turn off my side light. Oh, I need to also do something else here. 